is gearing up for another big one. Dave Barrett, all of Olympic, is gearing up for another big one. Two changes from last week, and all eyes will be on Trajanovsky, the man who saved Olympic from the throes of defeat last week. He scored two late goals and brought the crowd here at Leichhardt Oval to a frenzy. And look at that hill, absolutely packed. This is the sort of crowd the administrators here were expecting last week. And the first shot going to Norm Tomei. Bob Canlon forced to dive to his left. The first real chance after just 60 seconds of play. And Olympic showing the sort of form that got them to a two-all draw last week already. Gibson on full alert. In it goes again. Danger time for Olympic. The shot off the bar. So close from Marconi. Well, Marconi have got a very heavy schedule coming up over the next three weeks. They've got West Adelaide, Brisbane, and next week, Sydney United. It's a big call, but here's a big call for Bobby Catlin. Providing the lovely chip inside the box was to Kennis. Barrett, Bachak making the run upfield. To Kennis inside the box. It's still an Olympic. Tommy, shot! Well, the Leichhardt Oval Stadium again. A warm round of applause to some attractive football. Tomei with the shot. The Marconi defence there, a little bit suspect. And there is Dave Barrett, who really has inspired his troops. Long range shot. Oh, and what a cracker! Well, that must have been from 35 metres out from Joe Bachak. He scored from that range against South Melbourne last season. Well, that was Trajanovsky. And the crowd goes up as one. Took a deflection from Catlin, but it really has inspired the Olympic supporters. Well, Olympic will have to be at their best here now. Because Marconi can pounce at any given moment, as they've proven so far this season. What can they do here? Orlich again. Awaratifi latching on, and this time Maloney latching on. The ball is loose. Sensational save there by Gibson. Awaratifi has been checked out of the game, but he found a very, very small opening there. The ball bobbing, the shot from Maloney. Awaratifi saw the situation, grabbed it, but what a terrific save by Gibson. Bachak now on the attack, on the run, being urged on by the big crowd here. Trying to draw his man, does well. Good play by Bachak. And almost the first goal coming for Olympic. Well, Bachak just toying with the defenders there. But it's Suarez and Marconi now on the counter-attack. This game opening up for Waratifi now. Hasn't had room to move. Beats one, beats two. And Gibson denying Suarez. A Waratifi. And Tomei. Olympic making another resurgence. Could this be the moment that the crowd have been looking for? This is terrific stuff. The sequence coming off. But Bobby Catlin stopping it. Well, what a wonderful sequence by Olympic. This game really being played at 100 miles an hour. That sequence deserving a goal, but Catlin denying the home side and the supporters who have urged their side all night. Bachak with the cross. And Bobby Catlin lunging to his right. Decisive moment. And John Paul. Up it goes. Straight to Gibson. That was pretty tense. Pretty close. And Dominic Longo has done that on many occasions in Belgium. 
very nearly doing it for his Australian club Marconi tonight. It's full time at Leichhardt Oval, one of the most thrilling nil all scores we've seen in the A League for many, many years. End to end football, entertainment plus for the 11,000 supporters. But Olympic continue their resurgence at the top of the table. No doubt these are the, one of the two best sides in the league. Full time at Leichhardt. It's UTS Olympic nil, Marconi Fairfield nil.